What is up everyone? Thank you for tuning back into my channel. I promised you guys I was gonna do a video every Wednesday. I really, really wanna make it a focus, so thank you guys for tuning in again. Last week I shared with you a little bit of my life update and how I've had a lot of things change in my life, all for the better. And this week I wanted to talk about a topic that I have been getting asked a lot first of the past two or three months. I would say more three months because it was around the time that I met my boyfriend. I completely, I wouldn't say I completely let go of the gym or dieting. However, I just focused on being happy and healthy and not really dieting and not overdoing cardio and not overdoing the gym or anything like that. And the result of that ended up being me losing weight, which was actually kind of crazy. That I see these top tips that I'm about to tell you, they're more of lifestyle habits. I, I really believe in creating lifestyle habits and not restrictions because the moment you feel like you're dieting or you feel like you have to go to the gym, I feel personally, those are the moments where you don't really want to and you actually start craving everything else. So anyway, I'm gonna jump right into these top five tips before I start rambling on for 20 minutes. Uh, but I hope you guys find these useful and helpful. I will go into more detail on future videos within each step, if that makes any sense. All right, let's do this. This is what I feel the most important thing that you can do uh, because it's gonna help you regulate your hormones and everything like that is gonna be to get enough sleep. Number one, get enough sleep. I know that obviously everybody hears it, get at least eight hours. My personal magic number is seven. Uh, it all depends on your sleep cycle. So it's super important to set yourself a sleep schedule. So know exactly when you're going to sleep and at least during the week. Obviously on the weekends you might stay up later, which is totally fine. But if you're always going to sleep at the same time during the week, your body gets used to that. It wakes up at the same time. You get your circadian rhythm flowing and that has so much to do with your ability to regulate your hormones. Hormone regulation is tied with weight loss, with your ability to keep your body composition a certain way, with how you feel, your energy level, so many things. So it really all starts with getting good sleep. It all depends on what you can do, but I always recommend sleeping at least six to nine hours. All right, number two is to control your stress levels. And I'm not gonna say get rid of stress because I actually personally believe that stress isn't necessarily bad. Obviously there's different levels of stress, but I remember watching this really good TEDx video that I will link below. And it's this lady, I forget her name right now, but I'll link it below. She's talking about how stress is actually a great thing. And I do believe that because sometimes when you're stressed, it actually puts you in like fight or flight and you get more things done. So I believe a little bit of stress in your life is a good thing, but in general, controlling your stress levels, controlling anxiety, bad thoughts, all that stuff that leads to stress, I totally believe in controlling that. And one really good way to do that is to meditate. All right guys, I just ran downstairs because the doorbell rang and while I ran downstairs, my camera fell off of the stand and it's not turning on. <laughs> so whatever, I'm just gonna laugh that off. Kind of makes me sum up the reason why it's so important to meditate is that it just calms your anxiety and it just makes you realize that all these like external things in life, they don't really matter. We are so much more than our material objects. We're so much more than our body. Uh, we're so much more inside. And I think that that's what the main thing that meditation just grounds you and it makes you realize that you can overcome anything that happens in your life. And controlling stress is going to ensure that you're able to get the results you want with your body. This is what causes you to kind of form more of a belly because this is all your insulin and your high cortisol is, is running, you know, super, super high if you're stressed. So all that is gonna result in storing belly fat, doing excess cardio, which is more stress, too much training, more stress. Uh, there's just so many indicators of stressors. So the main thing is to just slow down. Remember that you can visualize and become anything you want and it all starts in the mind. So if you're able to get rid of a lot of clutter through meditation or through whatever you find helpful to slow down your, your stressors, then you can truly accomplish anything. Remember to breathe, take some time to meditate, five or 10 minutes a day. 
That is my number two. Number three. That looks like six. Number three, fasting. Now, intermittent fasting is a huge hot topic. I totally believe in it, and I also get benefits that I feel uh, are beneficial aside from weight loss from intermittent fasting is increased energy and also hormone regulation. There's different type of fasts. Some people fast for longer, some people fast an entire day. I just simply fast at least 12 hours a day and most of those you're sleeping through a supported fast the way I do it basically wake up right away I make my apple cider vinegar with lemon in warm water I drink that that just helps your digestion it actually helps curb cravings and so many other things so the moment I have that I don't even feel hungry anymore I will make a modified version of a bulletproof coffee if you don't know what a bulletproof coffee is it's basically coffee that has good fats in it, like a lot of people add butter and MCT oil and stuff like that. And so that is what I have in order to fast for longer. Oil, maca, cinnamon, a little bit of stevia, and I do add a little bit of flax milk just to give it an extra milky kind of taste. Sometimes I'll add collagen if I'm feeling really hungry because collagen is just pure protein. So then what I'll do is I'll blend it, have that, and then I'm not hungry at all till around 12 or one, you guys. It's amazing. It's all about those six meals a day kind of life. I don't have time for that. So now I prefer to start my day like this and I will consume three large meals throughout the day. More into detail on a future video. Maybe next week I'll, I'll give you guys a body update when it's not that time of the month anymore. <laughs> and then I'll also give you guys kind of a break to eat in a day. If you guys wanna see that, let me know below. But anyway, first eat, if you let's say have just carbs in the morning, what that's gonna do, your insulin is gonna just spike up. You might have energy for 30 minutes, an hour, and then what's gonna happen is that's gonna spike, go back down. So if you guys ever feel a crash mid-afternoon, that's because of what you're eating. That's because of your insulin, your cortisol, again, back to the stress, all that stuff. So when you control that through eating more protein and fats, instead of focusing on more carbs in the morning, she gets regulated so, so much more. And again, everybody is different. I am basing this off of me and what has worked for me. It might not work for you, but you can always give it a try, put it out there. And again, I will go into more detail about my exact, like everything that I have been doing in possibly next week's video, if you guys wanna see that. Number four is to start your first meal with protein and fats. Bring why to consume protein and fats first thing in the morning. It goes back to the whole insulin thing, which I actually just described during the fasting thing, but I was supposed to describe it here. Anyway, going back to that, when you consume protein and fats, fats are slower to digest and protein is also slower to digest. So that's going to help curb your cravings, keeping you fuller longer. And it's also not going to have any sort of insulin spike it's just going to be like a controlled energy experiences that gives you way more energy than if you start your morning with a high carb meal that's just something that's helped me so i'm really big on nutrient timing a lot of people aren't a lot of people are like oh eat whatever you want throughout the day as long as you're in a calorie deficit cool for me that doesn't work i like to have good energy and the way that i have good energy is when i consume protein fats first thing in the morning again the collagen and the mctls in the coffee that's one example and then i usually go train and then post workout is when you want to emphasize the most amount of carbs in your meals numero cinco uh the, the last tip that i have for you guys today in order to kickstart your fat loss goals without even having to diet is to eliminate inflammatory foods this really varies from person to person. Not everyone is allergic to certain foods. However, some of the top inflammatory foods are included in so many processed meals or, you know, they're hidden in so many things you don't even realize. The top one, especially for me, is dairy. Dairy obviously is found in so many things. About two or three months ago, I got an allergy to has done finally. Uh, to kind of show me what I was uh, allergic or intolerant to. And the main one for me was dairy. 
Just so you guys know, I used to probably consume whey protein, which is a dairy derivative, every single day of my life, probably before I knew that, obviously, for the past three years. So imagine all the inflammation that was going on inside me just from that allergy. One is, and I totally try to eliminate this regardless, but a big one for people is gluten. That didn't come up in my test. However, I noticed that when I do eat gluten, my belly just like extends, I get super bloated and all that stuff. And it's just, it's not pretty at all. So I personally try to avoid gluten and I totally recommend that you guys do as well. Uh, stick to foods that are not processed. Things that are grown in nature, vegetables, all sorts of vegetables, again, some people can be intolerant to certain vegetables. So I totally recommend that you guys get your allergy or intolerance test done because once you pinpoint that, it's so much easier to say no to a certain food when you're intolerant. Balance is totally fine, but when you are intolerant to a certain food and you eat it and it's an inflammatory food for you, it is not pretty and you realize it. So anyway, not to like jump into that, but I'm sure you guys have heard that a lot of issues in your body start in your gut. So the one way to heal your gut is to make sure that you're consuming a diet that is right for you and that is anti-inflammatory and that it isn't going to cause extra inflammation because if you are inflamed, that's going to mess up with your hormones again, with your digestion. Your digestion is everything. Again, your gut is everything. So make sure to eliminate those inflammatory foods and also to make sure to add some probiotics into your life and digestive enzymes if you have any kind of digestive problem. I consume uh, these papaya chewable enzymes and they've actually helped me so much because after eating a lot of meals, I get very bloated. Papaya enzymes actually really help with that and probiotics as well, other digestive enzymes as well, L-glutamine, fish oil, aloe vera. There are so many things that you can do to heal your digestive system. And the main way that you could do that is again to eliminate those inflammatory foods. And again, in future videos, I will go into more detail on each and every little thing, but those are some things that have helped me a lot. And again, these are lifestyle habits. They are not restrictions who benefit you in way more than just losing weight, but your energy levels in feeling your best. Be doing a lifestyle challenge in November. It's gonna be called Feel Your Best, right before Thanksgiving starts and all that stuff. So if you are interested in joining this challenge with me, it's gonna incorporate a lot of my methods like having the apple cider vinegar in the morning, the bulletproof, and then the three meals a day. Give you exercises, a full meal plan, all super healthy and it, everything that I've talked about in this video. More details on that will be posted on my Instagram page. I wanted to let you guys know that. I'm super excited for it. Thank you guys again for watching. Leave me some comments below if you have any suggestions on things you would like me to cover or if you have any questions at all. I appreciate your guys' love and support. Mwah. Have a great week.